not one, not two, but three straight losses for the Mario Cristobal in the Miami Hurricanes as they lose to North Carolina. We're going to talk about all that and more. The players got to hold up to their end of the bargain. That's the one takeaway that when, when I'm done rambling and rumbling through this whole video, that's the one thing after watching that game, the players got to make plays. The players cannot fumble the ball after you get a first down. Jalen Nine cannot drop passes. Uh, Jaleel Skinner, um, Will Mallory cannot be in cover three and just not do what you're supposed to do in cover three. Peeking, peeking in the back zone, in the in the backfield, just giving the quarterback free points. If we do what we're supposed to do, blocking, catching, tackling, we win this game. But we don't. The players don't hold up their end of the bargain. I know everybody wants to kill the coaches. And, hey, the coaches aren't perfect. The coaches are not perfect. Kevin Steele, why are you dropping Harvey back in the coverage to cover a running back who's been killing us most of the night? Gaddis, yes, we would like to see better play calling inside the red zone. But at the end of the day, if the players execute, we win tonight. And there's a, there's a particular player that not a lot of people's talking about that I have to bring up. That if this player would have done his job against Texas a and we would have been in a better position to win. That this player, if he would have done his job tonight, we would have been in a better position to win. And no one's talking about it. But Andy Borgales has to play better. Yes, the red zone offense is struggling, but if the red zone offense is struggling, you should at least be able to count on your kicker. And we have not been able to count on him this year. At one point during the game, the announcer said he was three for 10, and that's horrible. Your brother was good. We thought you would be good, but no. You've struggled, and I and I don't know what – and it's another thing where – I think he got caught up in the height of the offseason, posted all these goofy-ass pictures, mustache here, joking around. It's all kiki kid key, key and funny, and then we get on the football field, and we can't do our simplest job. We're not asking you to do fake field goals, throw the ball from the kicker position. We're asking you to kick the football through the upright, something that you're getting a scholarship, maybe NIL money to do, and you haven't been doing it. And Mario, that's one thing he has to address is the kicking game. Now, this game went like this. North Carolina came out on fire. I thought we were going to get blown out. Today, we got TVD, not Tyler. We've had Tyler these last four weeks. Today, we got TVD, and TVD Kept us in the game. He balled out, had a hell of a game. The one big mistake at the end of the game. But it came down to Drake Bell was able to take his team down. They had a long drive and Van Dyke wasn't able to take his team down. Jaleel Skinner catches the ball on the sideline. He has to get out of bounds, doesn't get out of bounds. And when that doesn't happen, the team lo loses their cool. Like we don't like, we don't know what to do. They get the ball off. Balls tipped, interception, they throw the U down. Defensively, the defense, they battled back in the second half. Really, the points that North Carolina got, we gave them, right? Cover three, no communication. Cover two, no communication. And why are we running zone? Because we got sliced, dice, chopped up, up and down, left, right, nicely against Middle Tennessee State. So it was Kevin Steele said, well, you know what? We'll put them in zone. And they couldn't do zone right. So at the end of the day, the players did not hold up their bargain. Um, and the one thing about our offense, I'm going to let y'all know why our offense struggles. Because we don't have that one player that is dangerous. We don't have that one player that you got to stay up at night figuring out how to stop consistently. We see flashes. Rashard Smith had a hell of a game, I thought. Uh, Kobe Young, congratulations on your first touchdown as a Miami Hurricane. 
He looks pretty good. Mallory looks good, but like I said, consistently, because Mallory will catch four passes in a row, but we know he's not going to do anything with them. That is the that is that is what this team's missing. Some a, a running back who's going to catch a screen and hold on to the ball and go to the house. A a a, a, a receiver who's going to catch a slant and take it to the house, just like Kayshawn Smith did, but then. He disappeared at the end of the game. So we need a consistent threat who can make plays from the start of the game to the end of the game, or at least draw so much coverage that it's going to open up somebody else. But we don't have that. So you can run base vanilla defense against us, you know, blitz the golf for edge every now and then, and your defense is going to look okay against us. That's what we got to get Mario you got to go out and do what you got to do. You are known for recruiting. The guys that we got here, they're not it. We've got to add. And another part, another uh, James Williams. I don't believe James Williams lived up to the, has lived up to the hype. He's not lived up to the hype. You know, a lot of people I saw that the people were tweeting out the blue chip ratio. Well, our five stars, Avante Williams doesn't see the field a lot. Uh, James Williams has not played to a, a five-star level. Uh, Jake Garcia is the backup quarterback. Our high-level players aren't playing up to those stars. Jalen Knight getting in the game in fumble. Could you imagine if Mario hadn't brought in Henry Parrish? Players got to execute. Or uh, Andres Borgales. Got to be held accountable. The kicking game has to be better. I do want to leave on a good note. TVD, Rashard Smith, Kobe Young, Henry Parrish. Y'all did y'all think offensive line atrocious. A lot of injuries, which another quick point. Let me know in the comments. Does it seem like we have a lot of injuries this season? I told y'all in one of my videos. The Oregon fan base, they said a lot of dumb shit when Mario got hired that you just listened to and didn't listen to. But, uh, but a couple guys who know ball, who I talked to, good friends, they said when Mario and uh, Aaron Field got a hold to the players, a lot of injuries were happening. Game of football, injuries do happen. But it seems like, damn, you know, you put in you, uh, Jaclar Carton gets hurt. I hope you get feeling better. You put in Dennis, then, then he gets hurt. Does it seem crazy to y'all? Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.